Hello and welcome again as we consider yet another multiple choice question for IB Chemistry. This one dealing with topic 20 for IB Chemistry and it says what is the correct order of increasing rate of hydrolysis of halogenoalkanes by dilute sodium hydroxide? So this then is looking at substitution by a nucleophile, it's the SN1 and SN2 reactions. This particular set of answers are all written out as condensed organic formulas and writing them out as a full structural formula is not a requirement. What's needed to solve this question is an understanding of Markovnikov's rule and an understanding of leaving groups, particularly with reference to the halogens and particularly with reference to chlorine and bromine. Now here you're looking at SN1 reactions and SN1 reactions happen when there is the capacity for a carbocation to be formed that's stabilized by an inductive effect. So when you have three CH3s all pushing electrons towards the central carbon here in the structure, then you could have a positive charge actually existing here for a while. This is called a carbocation. Whichever structure here favors the existence of a carbocation, that is the one that is most likely going to undergo hydrolysis by sodium hydroxide because in sodium hydroxide what you will have is the nucleophile with its lone pair of electrons seeking to come in and become attracted to this positive center and to have a nucleophilic substitution of course as the halogen group exits and that halogen group could be Br minus or it could be Cl minus. This is the most preferred configuration for the carbocation because you get the maximum inductive effect with three CH3 groups. So there's definitely going to be a preference for a high level of hydrolysis when you have a CH3 three structure like this here or when you have one like this here. So already you are looking at eliminating B and C without even considering the halogen. We have come down to a choice of A and D. And now A and D are pretty much identical, but these two are interchanged. But you don't need to go here to get the answer. What you need to do is to simply look over here at the end and both of these have CH3 threes, but this one has a Br and this one has a Cl. And these two are flipped in A and D. So the question is to arrive at this answer, you need to know which of Br or Cl is the better leaving group. And one quick way to know which is the better leaving group with the halogens is that the ease with which a group leaves increases as you go down from fluorine to chlorine to bromine to iodine. And the reason that this happens is because the strength of the base gets weaker as you go down and the tendency for the Br- minus or for the I- minus to be stable when it leaves increases. But a simple way to solve these kinds of questions is to simply remember that as you go down group 7, the ease of leaving increases. And the higher up you are in group seven, the more difficult it is for the group to leave. So therefore the answer to this question then would be that BR leaves in preference to CL. So that would give you an answer of A.